If my patient doesn't complain about his medication, how do you justify doing canaloplasties? With medication, it's adherence. We just don't know if the patients are using it. And I think the idea of getting patients medication free is important. We also don't know the long term impacts that these medications may have when I have the conversation with the patients that actually, should we do a procedure for you? Um, particularly in my practice, we tend to do it combined more than standalone. Um, and it, it doesn't take a lot to persuade patients that this is something that yeah. would be beneficial for them. What role does canalplasty play in the interventional glaucoma paradigm? It's important to leave room to continue to be able to escalate therapy over time as a patient needs. Glaucoma will likely progress with time. This will not be the only procedure we do in your lifetime. This won't be the only intervention we do. And I think it's an important thing to communicate to patients and to have them understand when they do need that second procedure, regardless of what the first one is, they don't look at the first procedure as a failure because it wasn't. It controlled their glaucoma for that long and now they need something else. And that's the normal, natural progression of glaucoma. We always have to try to stay one step ahead and that's why we have algorithms and why we have protocols that help to guide that. Um, for me, I, I don't want to try and remove the trabecular meshwork. I still feel that it plays an important part in the natural physiology and the homeostasis of aqueous outflows. Do you really think the procedure time benefit ratio of canaloplasty is anywhere near that of stents? Stents are great. Stents I, I use all the time. But where do we place our stents? Yeah. Nasal, nasal half, right? And when you look at this, these pictures up here, those collector channels are going 360 degrees around. And I think that's one of the huge advantages of the iTrack Advance and, and canal plasty is being able to treat 360 degrees in one fluid treatment. And then the lower volume of OVD were kind of the, the main reasons I switched to iTrack Advance. Some people worry that actually you um, you have a scrub nurse that needs to be participating in the procedure and so once that's adapted and you've got used to it then it, it works very well and so uh, it plays a valuable role in our practice to help dilate the collector channels to try and maintain that uh, distal outflow uh, which we know is hindered in glaucoma um, to help provide pressure control as well as uh, reduction of pressure lowering medications too.